Um, obviously, this has uh, been a very difficult day for me personally, um, having had the opportunity to work with AJ for 10 years and Nor for the last six. I don't think anybody could have found any two more dedicated and loyal uh, individuals. Um, I, I, I met with them both this morning, and uh, I thanked them both uh, for their dedication and their commitment to try to win a world championship here. Obviously, we didn't get there. Uh, I knew at the beginning of the season that if we didn't get into the playoffs and win some games that I was probably going to have to make this decision. Um, but uh, I'm looking forward now to the process of hiring a new general manager and a new head coach. And uh, as you know, or I, I think most of you know, I've a new general manager and a new head coach. And uh, as you know, or I, I think most of you know, I've hired Ron Wolf to come on as a consultant uh, to help me through this hiring process. Uh, and this process has begun as we're talking right now. We have sent out consent letters to teams that have potential candidates uh, that we're looking at that are in the playoffs. So uh, we're waiting to hear back. Uh, if we receive approval, then there will be some interviews done uh, hopefully this week. On a coach? Yeah, you know, I, I think, and let me clarify one thing. I, I, I believe that my goal here is to try to get a general manager in place first and then go out and hire our new head coach. Um, that may not be possible because of who's going to be out there, who, what consents we may uh, receive, but, um, you know, that is, that is my goal right now. So until I get the general manager in place, really can't answer that because I'm going to depend on him to – for his advice and what direction we should go. And Jimmy will get interviewed? He absolutely will get interviewed. Any idea how long it's going to take your process to get interviewed? You know, I don't know, to be honest with you. There's no time frame. Uh, obviously, as everybody knows, there's a lot of teams out there right now that are looking for coaches and general managers. So it's going to be obviously very interesting in the next several weeks. Dean, did the empty seats in the stadium, did that factor into this decision as well? Well, obviously, if you don't win, fans aren't going to come. And, uh, and this is, I think this is part of our business. And, uh, you know, but, I, you know, as I said earlier, I mean, our goal is to put a winning, uh, you know, product on the field. And we haven't done that in the last three years. So uh, it's, not, it's not a good thing when you don't see the fans in the stands. Dean, how wide is your net with that? Because it's going to be, you know, coaches, broadcasters, anybody, any, any limitations on the parameters you're looking for? No, I think it's it's open right now. So, as I said, we'll have to see how, as we go through this process, how it all unfolds. Where do you think Norbert AJ went wrong in the last Well, I mean, we could sit here and speculate all day long. And, you know, when you find yourself in this situation, it's probably a little bit of everything. Obviously, some player personnel decisions as well as coaching. I think Norbert would say that himself to you. But, you know, you can, to me, I'm looking forward, I'm not looking backwards. Well, I, you know, obviously I want to get our general manager in place, and that's something we're going to talk a lot about. I do personally believe we have a good core group of players on defense. Uh, we have, in my mind, a great quarterback, uh, given the opportunity, you know, with some better personnel around him. But, uh, I, you know, I, I want to wait till the general manager gets in place first. And you're considering the recent trend in the NFL with teams turning things around very quickly. We've seen what the Colts have done this year. Mm -hmm. Well, yes. To answer your question, yes. I want to turn around as fast as we can, but we got to do it right, too. We have to build this team right. Why go with Ron Wolf about that? Um, I think he's a very credible individual. He's, he's well respected in the league. He's been obviously very, he was obviously very successful in Green Bay. Uh, and, you know, I'm, I'm going to depend on his opinion a lot during this, this whole process. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, I knew, as I said earlier, I think at the beginning of the season, if we didn't get into the playoffs, 
you know, and, and do something that, you know, win some games that I probably was going to make the change. But I would say if you want a specific time and date, probably when we were 100% officially eliminated from the playoffs, which was right after the Carolina game.